Okay, the last video I showed you um, was decomposing fractions, but we were just looking at the sum of the unit fractions. This time we're going to look at the sum and how to write that as a multiplication sentence as well, because we know multiplication is just repeated addition, so we can tie those two together pretty easily. So first off, we've got to look at the picture. Here's one whole. We've got to see the fraction they're trying to get us to make. One, two, three pieces, so that's our denominator, and two are colored in, that's our numerator. So we know it's two-thirds. One way to break that down is with addition. So it's one-third here and one-third there. One-third plus one-third is two-thirds. Pretty simple. But now they want us to show that as a multiplication. And I love this because you have one-third two times. So all they're saying is two-thirds is equivalent to two times one-third. So you're doing one-third two times here. I think you're going to find this multiplication of fractions is pretty simple, pretty basic. So let's take a look at our unit fraction here. We've got this one whole. There's one, two, three, four pieces. So we know that's our denominator. We look and see how many are colored in. One, two, three. Three are colored in, and now we're just going to break it down into pieces, or what they call decompose. So there's one-fourth, there's one-fourth, and there's one-fourth. Because remember, when I add those back together, here's my common denominator, I simply add my numerators back together. One plus one plus one is three. Really simple. To look at it as a multiplication problem, we have three of the fraction one-fourth. We have it one, two, three times one-fourth. And we're going to look at what one-fourth times three looks like. It's pretty simple to figure out. You take the whole number times the numerator. That gives you the numerator, and then that denominator just stays the same. It's very, very simple. Let's check out a couple more examples. Now if you have more than one whole. So those are those improper fractions my brother loves so much. So let's take a look at this. First off, let's find our unit fraction, how big one unit is. It's one, two, three, so that's my denominator. But how many pieces are colored in? One, two, three, four, and that's my numerator. So my fraction is four thirds. I can then break it down and a one-third plus one-third plus one-third. And of course, I have to do that four times to get that numerator of four. One plus one plus one plus one is four. Common denominator all the way through. And then if I want to show that as a multiplication, how many times did I write one-third? I wrote it four times. I made one-third four times, and there's your multiplication for that. You're also going to be drawing those tape diagrams, showing the unit fractions as addition and multiplication. So let's take a look at this one. Again, I'm going to make that one whole. And here's my... Sorry, my handwriting's not so great on this one here. All right, I've got to break it into five pieces. Oh boy, I'm in trouble there. Five pieces, because of the denominator, I have to color in three. That's my numerator. One, two, three pieces are colored in. So that's simple. Draw the picture. We've done plenty of that. And then write it as a addition. One-fifth plus one-fifth. And a multiplication. Three-fifths equals one, two, three times one-fifth. All right, guys, not so bad. Give it a try. This goes with fraction lesson three on the paper worksheet. It also ties right into those IXL, Q1, 2, and 3.